inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Hola, damas. ¿Cómo estás? (sighs) Man, this day has been (laughs) a doozy for me. I woke up feeling extremely tired. I had a horrible headache. And I felt like I could have just laid in the bed all day, but that was not an option because I have some really magnificent things going on today. And some women are looking forward to me serving them. And it's a perfect segue into today's topic. About two years ago, I did a video and I explained why your why isn't enough. And I talked about some people I knew who were like, oh, my goodness, you know, my why is so strong. I would do anything for my children. You know, then you got people debating, you know, your why is selfish. You, you're you doing what you're doing because you just want to make yourself feel good. And I'm like, but at the end of the day, let's just get to the point. A lot of people will say, you know, what kept me going was my why. Well, I see a lot of people with a strong why, but it doesn't keep them going. You know, you could say I'm building my business because I want to provide, you know, better opportunities for my children. And then when it takes longer than you anticipated or the obstacles are greater than you imagined, Then you go back to a job and you rationalize and justify and say, well, you know, I'm going to have great insurance benefits and they can go to college for free or the tuition reimbursement is excellent. And and you start justifying and it's nothing like the benefits of what will happen if your entrepreneurial endeavor had actually become a profitable business. And I ended up going into a private group with some clients and asking them, you know, what is their why? And it was important for me to ask because I was wondering why they weren't showing up. They were really not showing up and they weren't taking advantage of live video, which during that time, it was still really great for seizing organic traffic and clients. And the question came up again, what's your why? And I find that it is very easy and very typical for people to start talking about their dreams since they were a little kid. It's the way they're going to change the world. They're going to get their husband off of their job. They're going to provide opportunities for their children and their typical answers. And what I ended up creating was a 28 day why challenge. It was something that was going to push them. It was going to push them to the max, but every single day for 28 days, I dissected their why and I changed the positioning of the questions so that they could see how many facets there are to their why and I want you to think about that for instance you have your ultimate why 
And that is when you really just look at it, maybe you prayed and God showed you the answer and you know that this is what you're supposed to do with your why. Then there's another piece of your why that has to do with the expectations of people that are watching you, for instance, like your children. Sometimes if they start emulating you, you're like, I can't stop. And somebody will say why. And it's because, you know, my children, they're learning what it means to be an entrepreneur. I'm teaching them about finances and living skills and I can't stop doing this. That's a part of your why. Then some of you, you may be be a little discouraged sometimes because you're you're nervous. No one else in your family has created wealth or done what you're doing. Maybe you're breaking away from religious beliefs by practicing, you know, Reiki or whatever it is. And you realize that you're breaking generational curses. And in the beginning, it's like, oh my God, this is just so awful. I have no support. And then it turns into a state of empowerment of I'm going to show my family that there is another way. And that's part of your why. You can't stop until you are the first to bring the truth to light. And so have you ever considered how many layers there are to your why? Like another example would be the investment. You know, there's a point when you're investing in something and it's like, yeah, I think I better stop while I'm ahead. But then there's another point when you cross that fine line of like, this has got to work. I I don't care how, but this shit has got to work. When I think about all of the time and the money that I've invested, you're like, (laughs) I'm not quitting. That's another layer of your why. And so I want you to think about that. And I'm sure with just a few questions that I asked alone, if you really just take the time to dissect them, you will realize that, wow, man, maybe I, maybe you never thought about it that way. And now you are, well, I've got 28 components for you to look at 28 components for you to look at. And I want to invite you to come to the authentic collective community because we are starting the why challenge. Yeah. If you're listening to the podcast episode late. Uh, We started it on April the 6th, but it doesn't matter. You come in and you get in where you are and you just start chipping away at those 28 days. And guess what? This ends up being an excellent marketing strategy. They're not just looking at their why so that they can fuel themselves with motivation. They are then taking a piece of that why every single day and doing a live video to explain why they do what they do. And that is part of how you connect your brand philosophy and values to your target audience. In a time like right now, when figuring out how to market and be sensitive to what everyone is going through, it can feel weird to you. And some of you all aren't putting yourself out there because you're only thinking about the money. First of all, you don't know what's in somebody's pockets. I've got notifications of payment received from last night going into this morning, whether that's paying clients or people signing up for the summit, you have something of value and everybody is not struggling and everybody did not waste their money. They're just waiting for the right opportunity. But I get it because organic reach and integrity is at the forefront of my business model. So I am not about being salesy and pitchy and just always trying to get somebody's money. I believe in connecting and doing everything in your power to make sure that when you hire some, when someone hires you, that you are the person that's for the job. So if you've been trying to figure out how you're going to market in this, you know, weird time, And you want to connect with your audience and you want to learn how to tell your story, but without telling everything so that it isn't too invasive, then I, I implore you to come and join us. So come to aclive.co, www.aclive.co, or click on the link and for whatever platform you're watching, join the group, introduce yourself, let it be known you're there for the Y challenge. Come on in. It is a private network. This is not Facebook. It's not Instagram. It's not LinkedIn. It's, I'm in a private network with my own community. Sisters, come on. It is a place for you to be authentic, to be genuine, and to learn and to collaborate with other like-minded leaders. So I hope I've intrigued you enough. I hope I've given you some encouragement and something to think about. And we can continue the dialogue on whatever platform you are, put your or you're on, put your comments in, and I will be sure to respond. And until the next time, deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. 
see you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces. Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you.